Campaign Automator is a standalone product from Optimizer that will help you automatically build out your Google Ads campaigns. We're going to use the attributes of the products that you have in your inventory to automatically create Google Ads campaigns, ad groups, ad copy, as well as extensions. We'll use those attributes right here, such as product type and brand, to show a very specific ad, and we can send that, um, that traffic to a very specific product landing page to help increase the performance of your Google Ads campaigns. So let's show you how to do that inside Campaign Automator. We'll start building out a new template. The first thing that you do is connect your inventory. You can do that via Google Spreadsheet. You can do that merchant, uh, via Merchant Center Feed, as well as a variety of different ways. After you've connected your inventory, those attributes now become available as dynamic insertions. And now we can use the, those dynamic insertions to start building out our campaigns. And the way we access those dynamic insertions is just typing in a squiggly bracket. We'll fetch the different column headers, which are your attributes, that we can start using. In this example, we're going to create a new campaign for every unique combination of brand and product type in our inventory. Then we're on to picking our campaign type. We can pick search, display, or dynamic search ads. Then we can enter our settings manually, or we can copy the settings from an existing campaign. After we've created our negative keywords and ad extensions, we'll start creating our ad groups. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our keywords. And we can create a combination of static and dynamic keywords. In this example, it would be buy would be static, and then brand category. And then the next example would be category on sale and delivery free for brand. So you have the opportunity to create as many keywords as you'd like. You pick the match type and then just hit save. So if I edit an existing ad inside this ad group, you'll see some of the possibilities to create this really relevant ad copy. The first example is to create a, a unique URL that we can send them to a specific product, product page. And then we can do things like great deals on category, and we're going to pull that category in from the search that just happened. And then prices from, we can pull in the ad group minimum price. So if we've got several, if we have several black t-shirts ranging from $8 to $12, we'll pull in the minimum black t-shirt from that ad group and show the specific, uh, the lowest price that, that we have available in our inventory for black t-shirts. We can also show things like how many items we have left in stock. So if we've only got three black t-shirts left, we can say only three left in stock to create that urgency to uh, entice the searcher to click on our ad. Once we've created our ad copy, now we're ready to set conditions. And the conditions help us control which ads are being shown. The conditions can be pulled in from the different attributes in our inventory. So availability is equal to in stock. That, that ensures us that we're only showing products that are in stock. The great thing about conditions is you can add conditions on top of each other or stack them on top of each other. So if you only wanted to show products that are in stock and maybe for sizes that are XL, extra large, you can stack these conditions on top of each other and make them very specific based on the products that you want to advertise for. After we've set our conditions, we're going to save and preview. And we're going to preview the work that we've just done. We've created 30 campaigns, 60 ad extensions, 30 ad groups, 
120 keywords, negative keywords, and ad copy. We'll see, we'll see kind of a preview, and then we can look into the specific campaigns that we've created. You will see warnings, so you can fix any, anything that is a potential problem before you apply them to Google Ads. In this case, we've got 60 warnings from our ad extensions, and it could be something really easy to fix, like um, too many characters in that particular ad extension. You can download the warnings here to get more information. You can also download a CSV, and then you're ready to either instantly apply or manually apply the work that you've just done, or you can set a schedule. And the great thing about a schedule is you can automate Campaign Automator looking at your inventory to make sure that we're only showing ads for items that you have in stock. If we've sold out of an item, we're not going to show the ad. And then also, if we have a new item that comes into the inventory, we can start showing ads for that new item. So hopefully you can use Campaign Automator to, to boost sales in your store and improve the performance of your Google Ads campaigns.